We did speak with the defense ministry, and the defense ministry here in South Korea is saying that they find this latest threat to be quite regrettable because the hope is from the South Korean government is that tensions are beginning to de-escalate. We are seeing that trend, but as with all things with North Korea, it's a bit of a set forward and a couple steps back. But the timing of this protest is really what sort of set off this latest tirade from North Korea. It is quite sensitive. It's a day when we are seeing Kim Jong-un stop by the tombs of his father and grandfather paying respects. And so you see a very different image coming from South Korea. And these South Koreans certainly know why they are doing this. They know that it is a particularly strong insult. So that's why we're also seeing a strong response from the North. But one thing we would like to point out, John, is that when you compare this statement, if you read through the entire statement, you compare it to all the other insults and threats that have come from North Korea, it is a bit dialed down. So things are trending to more of a just simmer here on the peninsula. John. And I guess part of that simmer now, Kyung, is that there has been no missile launch. We're just hearing more threats. Yet the South Koreans are still saying that a test launch could still be imminent. So where does this all go from here? Uh, where it goes from here is the South Koreans have to assume that there may be a missile test launch. And they're emphasizing the word test. Um, but the, if you look at all the tea leaves here, one of the things that we look at is whether or not North Korea has actually informed the maritime agencies that they're going to be conducting a missile test. And at this point, we just check with them. They say that they have not been informed. So uh, the, the government right now is moving forward to believing that there may not be a missile test launch. But John, as you know, with all things with North Korea, you just have to assume the worst.